Okay, uh, we have an exciting video today. I want to encourage you guys to watch all the way till the end. So uh, what's happening in this video is we were actually given uh, some turkey eggs by a friend of ours. And so we put them into our um, incubator and we have had one hatch today and we have another one on its way that's already started working. So when you watch all the way to the end, at the end, we're going to give you just a few tips that you guys can use if you have an incubator. Um, just some things that we learned the last few times that we've done it. And then at the very end, we'll have a separate video there at the end, just a clip of the chick, or the, not the chick, it's a poult. Turkeys are not chicks, they're poults. So um, at the very end, we'll have that video of the poult all the way out of its shell, because when it comes out, it's a little hard to see. So we'll actually give you a video where you can see the the poult in there and uh, and see it running around. So uh, stay all the way till the end and you'll get to see those few things there at the end. Thanks for joining us. I hope you like it. In 2013, we sold our house in the city, packed up our six kids and moved to a tiny home on 30 acres. Our dream was to get back to a simpler, healthier lifestyle. Six years later and three more kids, we now raise chickens, goats, great Pyrenees and try to expand our garden every year. We are the Kush family. Welcome to our farm. So I hope you guys like that video. It's really interesting getting to watch it in fast time. It took about two hours start to finish for it to finally break through uh, from the egg. So uh, our first tip, Ellie, is what? 
Watch your temperatures closely. Watch your temperatures and humidity very closely. So the very first time that we did this, we didn't check it all that often. Uh, we actually tinkered with it a lot as well. We were opening the lid a lot, adding water, taking water out, moving the trays, moving the eggs. It's really best once you get them in there to kind of leave them as best as you possibly can. Now, if there are big fluctuations and you're trying to get it settled down, you may have to do some things a little differently. Like with this batch, this time we had to crack the lid every once in a while because the humidity just kept building up in there and it was getting too humid. Um, but if you are going to hatch eggs in an incubator, you really have to watch the humidity and the temperatures very, very closely to make sure they're staying very consistent. Uh, and it does take a little bit of kind of figuring out how to do that. And every incubator is going to be a little different. So uh, figure out your incubator. It may take some experimenting. Um, but uh, once you kind of get the hang of it, those temperatures and humidities are very, very important if you're going to have a good, successful hatch rate. All right. So our second tip is what, Eli? Keep the lid on. Keep the lid on. So one of the biggest mistakes we made last year is once we got to the point where they were nearing the hatch um, uh, date, uh, we pulled the lid off a few times and we think that that really messed up the, um, the situation inside the eggs and we think we had a much lower success rate last time because uh, really late in that hatch cycle we pulled the lid off and, and we're tinkering around the eggs. So there's a certain point where you really need to leave that lid on and, and really watch them. So for us that point was yesterday. We taped the lid closed and we and we took the tray out and and we left them in there to get ready to hatch. And so when you're down into just a, a couple days away from your um, expected hatch date, then there are a few things that you have to do to prepare. And uh, but once you get those preparations done, that lid has to stay on. Otherwise, you end up messing up some of those eggs uh, late in the cycle. So like we did, like we did last time. So hopefully this time it'll be a little bit better. Okay, so our third tip is what, Lincoln? Don't help. Don't help. This is hard. So I know a lot of you when you're hatching eggs, you want to help them. They look so desperate when they're starting to crack through the egg shell. It seems like it takes forever. Like I said, with this first one that hatched today, it took about two hours to get all the way through it. kept asking. So yeah, so the kids kept asking about it. Now, so our incubator has a little window, so we can actually keep track and watch it as we go without having to open the lid. Last year though, my wife kind of got a little scared and she she went in and helped open a few of the eggs so what ends up happening is and you guys can look this up on google there are plenty of resources out there um, but what it does is when you help open the egg for the pult or for the chicks if you're doing chick eggs it actually weakens the chick a little bit they need to poke through and push through that shell it actually helps strengthen them and so uh, it is a it is an important process for them and if you intervene, um, there are lots of things that can happen, but the main important thing is they're not building up that strength that they need that first day uh, and second day to, to grow better um, without the assistance. And so that third rule is don't help. So I know it's hard to sit and watch, but try your best not to help. All right, that's our final tip if you're gonna be incubating eggs based on the experience that we've had so far. So. Right after this clip, if you guys keep tuning in, we'll have a short little clip of the pult now that it's out of its egg and running around uh, the incubator in there so you guys can see how good it's doing. Thanks for joining us. And remember, like and follow our um, YouTube channel and then hit the bell because when you hit the bell, it'll actually send you notifications when we post new videos. Thank you guys. See you later.